Hey folks, uh, Daddy and Rose Honey here. We're in the heart of peach season and we're fixing to make a gluten-free peach cobbler with a bit of a protein powder snuck in there. So let's get started. We have peaches here, but before we started here, I took the peaches, put a little slit in the top, boiled them for one minute, plunged them directly into an ice bath. And when you do that, the skin peels off so easily, it's much easier than doing that with a veggie peeler. We need to get the peach off the pit. You rock your knife around, you twist, and you get the peach. Slice the peaches into wedges before we toss them with the maple sugar. Maple sugar? I'm, I'm gonna get ready for maple sugar. <laughs> First two is away from me. I don't want the smell of peach. Okay, you watch our stories. Rose's kryptonite is fresh fruit, but she started eating bananas last week for the first time, so we're taking baby steps. <laughs> so this is maple sugar. It's crystallized maple syrup. Very yummy. This sugar is better than coconut sugar. Dust it over the peaches. A dash of cinnamon. We have not made this before. Pinch of salt. This is tapioca flour. You can also use arrowroot flour. We need a couple spoonfuls. So just give that a good mix. Did you preheat your oven yet? No. We gotta preheat it to 350. I will. All right. I'm bringing my sugar bag. This is Rose's oven, AKA uh, June convection oven. 375 works. Thank you, chef. Lemon zest to this to cut through the sweetness. Wow, try that. No. It's maple sugar. I know it's maple sugar, but it's peach. But <laughs> we'll need a cup of almond flour. And remember, almond flour is not the same as almond meal. Almond meal still has the skin on there. Flour doesn't. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Rose likes to mash it down here. Now, to infuse a little bit of protein in there, this is my best seller. This is my vanilla cream protein smoothie at shopflavcity.com. The mommy measure, that's how she does it. Not only great for like post-workouts, but the culinary applications of our protein smoothies, if you follow on Shop Flav City Instagram, is gangbusters. Every scoop has the grass-fed whey protein. Also has 10 grams of grass-fed oh, collagen, organic fruit, functional mushrooms, no natural flavors, no gums, oils, emulsifiers. This is the bomb. Shopflavcity.com has it and plenty more flavors. There's a spoon in there. Who did that? That was a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> a quarter cup of tapioca flour. Pour that maple sugar in here, please. Uh, here. Uh, tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> you might have a little bit of a problem, right? Really. <laughs> oh, maple sugar addiction. It's a real thing now. Cinnamon baking powder. Scoop in a little bit of cinnamon, por favor. That's too much. Okay. A teaspoon of baking powder to help it rise. Rose, go to your um, refrigerator and get the almond milk jug, please. I can get strong with my belly. Well, look at you using your doopy. <laughs> Who's been watching since Rosie was a baby in Chicago, Bye. eating the butter and the almond flour? Now she's taken over. <laughs> an, an, an ode to baby Rose in Chicago here. Three tablespoons of any kind of milk. Can I mix it? Yes, we're mixing. Three. Three tablespoons of fat. Oh, what is going on today, folks? And maybe our fingers. Yeah, fingers would actually be good. It's a great call. That's how grandma do it. That's how we do it. School starts next week and Rose is ready, y'all. All the kids are going to want to trade snacks and lunches with you, just so you know. What are you going to do when they ask if you want to trade? I can't trade. Exactly. Now, Rose, honey, here's what you're going to do. But gonna... only if they have the body of proof stuff they can trade. <laughs> it's the perfect answer. A little bit of fat. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. Rub that around so it doesn't stick on the bottom. I can't get these things off my hand. That's a good sign. You want it to be sticky. Then we'll throw a little bit of the peaches in there. Oh, it's perfect. We're going to take balls of it and just put it all over the top. Exactly like that. And while it bakes, it's going to get oozy and melty and turn into a cobbler topping. 375 oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Beep, beep, beep. It's so sticky. All right, go to work. Oh, this is great. Oh yeah, this is my 
I'm putting on the Bobby approved oven mitts. Check this out. Oh my goodness. That is the epitome of golden brown and delicious. Let's yank it and let it rest. Uh huh? What do you think? I'm not gonna eat it. You're not gonna eat it? <laughs> not the reaction I was expecting. Golden brown and delicious or what? Yeah, but the teacher in there you, can't you, eat it. You know what? You can pick the, the crumble topping, the cobbler topping, and then I'll eat the peaches. Yeah. Look at that, Rosie. Whoa. Be beautiful peach cobbler. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Wow. How do you like the biscuit topping, Rose? Bono? Molto bono. There you go. Wow, this is really lovely. And because we used the protein, obviously you get a nice protein boost. You get your collagen boost. And this is relatively low sugar, too. Mm. Bye. All right, guys. I'll type up the recipe. Make it. It's delicious. And peach season is almost Bye. over. Bye.